If you've ever been blocked from taking a photo or installing an update because of a storage full alert, don't waste your time sitting there and trying to manually delete stuff because this pop-up is just going to come back in a week. And don't feel like you need to buy a cloud storage subscription just because your phone is advertising that as the only solution you have. I personally hate the idea of using cloud storage and being tied to their subscription payment model just to hold on to my digital photos. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do to never have to deal with a storage full headache while completely avoiding cloud storage and keeping all of my photos. So the first solution is a bit of a bonk head type obvious solution, but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do in case you haven't tried it before. So this is going to be a completely free solution. The premise is that we're going to transfer our photos from our phone to our computer so that we're going to be using our computer storage instead of our phone storage. So if you have an iPhone and a MacBook like me, then this process is insanely easy and takes less than one minute. This is all you need to do. Go to your phone charger cable and take it out of the adapter and plug it into your computer so that you can connect your phone to your computer. Once it's connected, you may have some pop-ups that come up saying like, do you trust this device? Just click allow, click trust. And then after that, go to the photos app, which is already built into your computer. And when you open it, you're gonna see on the left sidebar that it's gonna show the name of your phone. So you're gonna click on that. And when you click on that, it's gonna show you all of the photos and videos that are currently on your phone. I just did this transfer before this video and I deleted all of my photos from my phone. So my phone only has one photo right now. Um, but this would show you everything. So then after that, all you have to do is just click the top right button that says import. And then all of your photos are going to show on your library on your computer. And once you have those, you can delete them from your iPhone and they're just going to stay on your computer now. Before you delete them, just make sure you do indeed see them in the library of the photos application on your computer. And make sure that you have iCloud turned off on both your phone as a precaution as well as on the photos app on your desktop which you can do in this you can do with this button in the settings we want to make sure that we're doing all of this outside of the iCloud infrastructure because iCloud is a sync service so if i if all of my devices are connected to iCloud and i'm deleting a photo from one of those systems then it's going to be deleted from all of those systems because it's working as a sync service so again, that's just something that we need to do if we're trying to do storage this way. So you don't need a connection to iCloud at all for this. This is all going to be in the pictures folder of your computer. So you can keep storing your photos here and it's not going to run out of space until your computer runs out of space. The second storage solution is to go old school and use a USB drive. There are USB drives you can get that you can just plug directly into your phone and send your photos to. Obviously this solution is not free because you have to buy the USB drive, but there are ones that you can get for 20 bucks that contain 128 gigs of storage space. And then in comparison for iCloud, you get 50 gigs of storage space for $1 a month. So. That subscription model is still going to quickly surpass this. I just did all of this for my mom because she was complaining about storage full pop-ups and initially I tried to put all of her photos on free cloud storage plans but it ended up resulting in her having scattered photos across iCloud, Dropbox, and Google Photos so it was pretty hard to keep track of. Um, so instead I got her USB which she's familiar with using. Um, and specifically, I got her this SanDisk one. Um, she has an Android, so this USB has um, a USB Type-C port, which is compatible with Androids, and it's also compatible with some newer iPhone models. And to be able to use this with the phone, you have to download an app to um, help facilitate the transfer. So I downloaded the memory zone app onto her phone from the play store and then i was able to plug in the usb see her phone's entire file structure and then i found that her photos were inside a folder called dcim and i was able to really easily just select all of the photos at once and then transfer them over to the usb so now she's free to clear her entire camera roll and then if she wants to access 
These old photos, she can just plug in her USB to her phone or her computer. So yeah, those are my two hacks for near infinite storage space. I hope you found this information useful. And I've been trying to make videos based around sharing information that I recently learned that I think would benefit others too. So if you're interested in seeing what I come up with next, then please subscribe and follow along.